Hello everybody, I'm gonna load a very basic scene using a render which shows noise for low sampling. Let's fix our anti-liaison samples by 4 and vary our final gather samples. Starting it by 16, let's do our first rendering. You can see we are getting relatively low noise, but it takes a long time if you want to render an animation. I didn't stop recording the screen during rendering because I want to compare the rendering times and that could affect our rendering time. The scene is a kind of benchmark for renders to check the performance of the indirect lighting. You can see the white light being diffusely reflected in the green and in the red walls and bringing some color onto the surface of the white or grey diffuse surface. I'm sure you skipped this part of the video. I could do it as well. So we got 51 seconds to render the entire frame. So let's reduce the final gather sampling by a factor of 4 and render the scene again. Now it's easy to see that we are getting some noise particularly in some areas of the image. But it's rendering much, much faster. Imagine an animation with 100 or, say, 1000, 3000 frames. Keep in mind that 3000 frames are actually less than one hour. Now we got 18 seconds rendering, less than one half, and some noise. So let's start with compositing and see how we can get rid of part of this noise. I'm adding this viewer node to see in real time what we're getting. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Yeah, so it's okay. So the first thing we think about when reducing noise is blurring somewhere. So we add a blur filter and let X and Y to be 16 for instance. So we got rid of the noise but it's blurring everywhere. Then we have to select where we are where we want to 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 the noise to blur. And we we make this by adding a Pre-width filter. This pre-width filter creates like this beautiful drawing with your image. So you can maybe find also other uses for it. So I add a math node, but I don't want to add. I want to subtract. I will select here, subtract, and I want to actually to subtract this image from a constant value. You can adjust it and you see that it's subtracting from a constant value. Now we have this dilate erode node. Maybe you can search for image processing to, to know more what it means. And if you if we put a negative value, it's going to erode. That is to amplify these black areas of the image. Now, let's back to our blur and we define the size of the blur by the output of, of this node and that is the adaptive blurring filter. Now you can play with these values and see how they fit better in your scene. The secret of that is that we are using a filter to detect edges and selecting these edges to not be blurred. And what is not edge is going to be blurred. You can play with the threshold values and find out the best ones to to remove noise 
without compromising our edges. This is still a simple approach. There are more complex setups which could be used to, to improve the noise reduction even more. You can see, for example, you can use the colors from, from the output of the Pruitt filter or even maybe use another filter on its output. Actually, this render should take exactly 18 seconds like the other one of 4 seconds, but it's taking longer. Just the compositing should take another couple of seconds and that would take a little bit longer to render. But I will render it again just to show you that the rendering time is kind of not constant. Just the same setup, the same scene, in the same computer, at the same conditions. And it's still kind of taking longer than the first time, but we can see that it's actually faster than the last time. So now we got 22 seconds in total, including the composition time. That's actually our tutorial. I'm just showing you the comparison between our results. Oh, sorry, that time here below wasn't 15 seconds, but 18 seconds. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.